Okay, so this lesson is going to be for the white and the yellow belt. Um, so if you noticed that, you probably noticed straight away that uh, I'm not Graham. Uh, I'm not who usually teaches you or takes you through uh, your lessons. But we've sort of decided that um, we've done, obviously, you never ever taught by the same person over and over again. I never have the same lesson with the same instructor. So we've got to a point now where we thought that we should all swap over. So I've usually been teaching the um, purples and purple and whites, but um, for a little bit now, I'm going to be doing the white and the yellows and the orange belt. So you'll have me for a couple of weeks now. Um, and obviously everyone else will have a different instructor and everything like that. But it just means that everyone teaches a different way. Uh, obviously I teach a different way to Graham. So does um, Nathan, so does Christopher. We all teach a little bit differently. So um, obviously new face for you. Just keep it a little bit interesting. Uh, so. We'll jump straight into it, obviously make sure you've got enough space, make sure you've got a drink. Um, you're going to have half an hour sessions, so you'll be, it'll be half an hour video and it, the video, um, your actual session might be a little bit longer. Uh, depends what um, I'm basing the week off, um, but it should be about 45 minutes or so, the whole lesson. Um, so let's get started. Hands on side together. Um, bow. Hands all the way up. And down. Um, to one side. And the other side. So you go one way. And the other. Shoulders forwards. And backwards. Arms forwards and backwards. Cross your body. Hands and your hips. Push forwards and backwards to one side. side and circles one way and the other way Hands on your knees, or your knees are on one way. And the other way. Stand up, touch your toes, and back up, touch your toes again, well done, and bring one arm across the body, and stand up, and turn that stuff all the way down until the thumb is facing the floor. Shake and the other one across the body, thumb up, and all the way to the floor. Thank you, Tiana. Shake and the other one's going to go up behind the head and a nice pull down on the elbow. And shake and the other one.
Alright, but yeah, I'm just gonna have a shake. Okay, we're gonna open those legs a little bit. Putting those toes to face forwards, just putting half of them out there. Nice and forwards. And we're not being all the way out there just yet. Just, so just a bit out from the shoulders. Okay? And we're gonna come up on those toes. And we're gonna up on those toes again. Okay, and we're gonna come a little bit further out, so we go one, two, and then we're gonna bring those hands down to touch the floor. And then you go up to one ankle, you grab hold. And over to the other ankle. And hands down, and you go up onto those toes. And back onto those heels. And back down again. I'm going to open those legs a little bit wider. And over to one ankle. And over to the other ankle. Hands to the middle. Up onto those toes. And back onto those heels. I'm going to go one time a little bit wider, and we're just going to sit there. And slowly bring those legs back together again. And we're going to have a sit down on the floor. Okay, so some of us usually rest with those hands behind. I hate it when we have those hands rest behind. It gives you a really bad back, so those hands are always in front from them. Okay, I'm going to push those toes forwards. And pull those toes back. Push those toes forwards. And pull them back. And big circles. And around the other way. And we're going to imagine those hands are spiders, and we put those spiders on those knees, and we're going to crawl those spiders out until we can grab those toes. If we can't grab those toes, and bring those knees in, grab hold of those toes, and slowly walk those feet out until those feet are nice and straight. And let go. Give those legs a straight. Right. A shake, I'm going to give it a go again. So remember, bring those knees in, grab all those toes, and walk those toes all the way out until they're nice and straight. And there go, shake those legs, and from there we're going to come up onto our knees. We sit down onto those knees. We're going to come up and onto those toes and down. Sit on those toes. And come back down. Back up and back down again. 
more time. Back down. Okay, from there, that bum is going to stay on those knees. So imagine it's glued, it cannot leave now. I'm going to imagine those hands are spiders. I'm going to crawl those hands forwards. But remember, that bum can't leave those knees. So we come forwards until that bum is leaving our knees. But remember, we have to keep it nice and tight down. And we stay there. And we come back. And imagine those hands are spiders again. And we crawl those hands out. And we come back. And we shake those legs a little bit. Okay, and from there, we're going to sit down and open those legs. Okay, grab hold of those toes. And we give them a little bit of a shake. And we're going to rock from one side to the other. And from there, we can see if we can get our head down to touch our toes. And back up. Shake those knees again. Bring those legs in a little bit closer. Shake those legs. And get your head all the way down to your toes. Up again, shake those legs. One more time, we're going to bring them in forwards. Okay, and from there, we put our elbows in front and we're just going to lean forwards. And back, shake those legs. And we're going to stand up. Hands on our sides, feet together. There, you're going to get a quick drink. Pause the video. When you're ready, come back. Hands on the side, put together. Bow, quick drink, and straight back. Okay. Hands on the side, put together. Down. Okay, so we're going to put one, our left leg in front and our fist up. I'm going to put one hand out in front. So the reason I move close to the camera is so you can see my hand is directly in front of my nose there. Okay, nice and straight. And that's where I want it to be. So we're going to have our left leg in front, our fist up, one arm straight out. And with that back leg, we're going to see if we can kick that hand. But when I kick that hand, I'm not going to bend my back. So we've got to keep that fist up. I'm not going to bend my back down to the leg. I'm going to keep that leg, that hand nice and high. And I come up. One. Let's see if I can touch that hand. I'm going to see if I can do it ten times. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Well done. Shake the leg. And swap legs. So we have the other leg in front now, and the other arm. So we make sure it's the um, arm that's in front. We don't have the back arm, which is the same as the back leg. We want it the same as the leg in front. Fist stays in, and ten times. So it's a nice straight leg. I'm not bending it. It's coming up nice and straight. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yo, yeah, bless me. Seven, eight, nine, ten. And swap legs. Shake the legs. Arm out. So from there, it's at my nose height, isn't it? We're going to take it a little bit higher. So it's now going to go up to the top of my head. Okay, so it's going to go to the top of your head now. Unfist stays up. 
remember we don't bend that back when we kick, it stays there. But we're gonna have, gonna have to throw that leg a little bit harder so we can get it up. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well done, and swap legs, shake both legs. Other arm out. Get ready. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well done, shake your legs. And swap legs again. Fist up. Okay, now we're going to use our knee. So we're going to bring our knee up and around to our side, but my toes are going to point down. I'm going to do this 10 times as well. It's going to be at my belt height. So you might not be wearing a belt, that's completely fine, but it's be about the same size as your waist, so where your belly button is. Okay? Fist stay up, we have our left leg in front. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and we'll swap legs. Same again, get ready. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, and change legs. So we're the other one in front now. Okay, so we've done our knees coming around. Now we're gonna come straight up. So from there, we're gonna come up there. Look at my toes; they point to the floor. They're not coming up there. Ooh, they point straight down. Fist stay up. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and change legs. Same again with the back one. Get ready. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and change legs. Okay, so now we're doing our straight kicks, so the kicks that come out. So we've done them with the straight leg, and we've done knees now, so now it's a bit of both. So the knee comes up, toes come back, and we kick out. I know Graham's gone through these with you. Okay, so we should already be able to do them, but if not, we're just going to re-show you again. Fist come up, knee comes up to belt height, snap out with the toes pointing straight up. We're going to do ten of those. Get ready. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Well done, change legs. Get ready. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then change those legs. Okay, we're going to have our left leg in front, we're working our upper body now. So, front punch and our back punch. So we're going to do 10 front punches. You ready? Remember, got to go out in front of that nose. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. Well done. And the back punch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well done. Change legs. Get ready. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well done. Change legs. Get ready. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, let's put them both together now. So front punch, back punch. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well done. And change legs. Ready? One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it is your first one back. You did have a week off last week. So I'm just re-stretching these muscles again, making sure that you know how to do it. So I've had a lot of stretches at the beginning of the lesson and just making sure that we're going over the basics, 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 over and again. Okay? So now I'm going to have a left leg in front. I'm going to do front punch, back punch, back snap kick, front snap kick. So this is very important, especially for your next gradings, okay? So if you go from white to yellow, or white to an orange, or yellow to an orange, uh, it doesn't matter, there's, there's different ways um, of doing it. Doesn't matter which one you're going for, this is very important for it, okay? So you've gotta be able to know this one very, very well. So we'll fist up, one, two, three, four. Okay, you can do that 10 times. For me, get ready, one, Two. Make sure those kicks are nice and high above that belt. Three. Those punches should be going about nose height. Four. If you drop those fists at any point, it doesn't count, so keep them up. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, ten, and change legs. Shake those arms, shake those legs, fist up. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, well done. So, are we making sure that those thumbs are nice and tucked in on the outside? We don't want them tucked in on the inside. If you have them tucked in on the inside, then it's not going to count and you're going to hurt your thumbs if you punch anything. So you always have them tucked in on the outside. Okay, well done. Hands to our side feet together. Bell, go and get a drink, pause the video, and come back. Hey, welcome back. As we're side feet together, bam. So we also know in the past couple of days it's been very, very hot. Okay, so I'm not going to be doing intense sessions or nice and quick ones. Do all make make sure the moves are done properly, make sure the technique is right. Okay? Just means that if you're outside or you're doing it outside or depending on where you're doing it, that obviously it's gonna be hot, so I don't want you to work it too hard and obviously not be able to do it because of the heat. Okay, so we've bowed, we've got a left leg in front. No, just to keep it at you. So legs are going to go shoulder width apart, and the hands are on a hip. Okay, so from there, we bowed. Our right leg comes out, so it's in line with our shoulders. So our shoulders going straight down. It's in line with them. Our toes pointing forwards. They're not out there. Nice and forwards. Our knees are slightly bent, and our hands are on our hips. Okay, so my fists are upside down. If you can see, from there. And they're in a straight line. Not down there, they're not up there. Straight line. My knees slightly bent. Okay, and we're just gonna quickly, I know you've already done them, 
we're gonna go over eight basic blocks. Okay, that's what they are there, they're eight blocks. So if you ever hear someone say eight blocks or anything like that, this is what they are. Okay, so we start off with our left one, we come across the body, we come nice and high, then we come back down. Other one across the body, all the way up and back down. From there we come out, across, back. We come out and across and back. We come across the body and out, and then we come back. We come across the body, we come out, and we come back. From there we come around and down, and back, and we come around and down, and back. Those are the eight basic blocks, okay? Just to make sure that you know them. And now we're gonna go over them 10 times. Ready? One. Two. Three. Drilling it in your head, making sure you know what you're doing. So just gonna copy me. Five. Six. Seven. Nine. Ten. Well then, shake your arms, shake your legs. Okay. So the only reason I've gone through those at the end there is to go through a weekly challenge. Okay, now one thing is, I don't know whether Graham has been doing or not, but I do weekly challenges with mine, okay? So we have a week until we get to our next lesson, okay? So in that week's time, the moves that I want you to work on is your eight basic blocks, okay? That's all it is. So some people watch the videos once and do the lesson once, that's completely fine. Some people do it more than once, that's fine. But what I want you to do is over this week, I want you to give the eight basic blocks a go. So those 10 that I've shown you then, and I want you to give them a go at least one other time this week. That's it, just one other time, okay? But I want you to do it 15 times. So whenever you decide to do it, could be tomorrow, could be the day before the next lesson. So it could be, day bef so it could be Saturday, it's up to you. But as long as you do it, okay? And I want you to go through those eight basic blocks and do them 15 times in a row without stopping, okay? That's your weekly challenge for this week. Very impressed. Hands on your sides for together. Bam. Well done.